before we dive in a huge shout out to everyone who supported the channel if you want to support me in making these videos you should use the new join button tier 2 members get exclusive discord roles and best of all you get me and my team helping you out with your projects so if you're looking for some extra support or just want to say thanks hit the join button below all right let's get right into it Welcome back, today I'm showing you how to fix all of your problems related to CS2 packet loss or ping drops or stuttering, so basically network problems which you may have because of the recent CS2 updates. There are three methods, let's say, and the last one uh, really helped me out and it fixed all my problems, so you should stay till the end to find that out. And uh, yeah, subscribe, leave a like, join the Discord server and uh, maybe the channel membership. And let's get right into the video. So first thing you have to do, this is not really a solution, just a thing you have to check because in some cases you might have an app uh, using your network much more than it should. Maybe a virus, maybe not, but this is more a thing just to check out. It's most likely not the case, but go to your task manager into performance, go to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable and run resource monitor. And here check on network activity. If you have anything, um, which uses much more than anything else. As you can see right now, I have Discord, Chrome, Steam, and uh, CS2 somewhere around here, but I'm in lobby, so it's not that much. But uh, anyways, everything normal. Just check if you have anything uh, very, very out of uh, bounds. With that being said, after you check this, uh, the first actual solution, let's see, let's say, is to turn off if you have turned on any compatibility settings or optimization settings for CS2. So how you do that is go into your Steam library here, go to CS2, go to properties, go to installed files here and click browse. This will uh, get you to the Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder and here just search for CS2 and it should find the cs2.exe. When you find this, right click it, I mean left click and right click, show more options and go to the properties of this file. Here you have a tab named compatibility. Make sure everything here is turned off, especially run this program in compatibility mode 4, make sure this is off, and the disable full screen optimizations, make sure this is off as well. You want the full screen optimizations and uh, <coughs> this is it for the first step make sure you have this turned off this is more uh, problem solving for stuttering not so network options but this is going to improve everything then the second thing is i'm going to close this and show you directly into the game cs2 actually has an option to smooth out even if you have packet loss and I'll show you in a second, if you go here into settings, in game, and then in um, the first tab here, you have an option named buffering to smooth over packet loss slash jitter. By default, you'll have this on none, but you can choose one tick or even two ticks. If your uh, packet loss is very, very bad or frequent, you can choose two ticks, if it's just a little bit, then you should choose one tick. I think in the middle is the best. And this, even if you lose one tick of a uh, game, it's going to look smooth. It's not going to be interrupted or you teleport it back and stuff like that. Also, this could help as well. Set the max acceptable matchmaking ping to a value like 100 or whatever you prefer. Um, so you don't play on servers very far away. <coughs> and also the max acceptable game traffic bandwidth you can choose something um, smaller if you wish but um, this is if the other um, let's say steps in this video do not help you solve the problem this is to mitigate it a bit to make it less annoying but uh, the most uh, helpful thing which i'm going to get to right now and the thing that helped me get rid of all the packet loss ever are the following command prompt uh, command so what you're gonna do is search for cmd which is command prompt and make sure you run it as an administrator 
you are gonna see this and what you're gonna type is ipconfig these are a few commands re um, related to ipconfig first of all you release it so ipconfig slash release it's gonna disconnect everything and um, basically reset a quick reset we're gonna do now uh, I'm gonna blur most of it here because it's gonna show my IP and more things after that we're gonna flash the DNS still from ipconfig you're gonna type ipconfig slash flash DNS you're going to have everything in the description all these uh, commands you're gonna have in the description so don't worry then you're gonna have ipconfig slash renew um, <clears throat> it's gonna first show this with the disconnected but it's gonna it should automatically reconnect as you can see um, wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi this is what on we are on and here you can see the my IPv4 and um, yeah you don't get to see that and then last thing is yeah, there are net sh into IP reset and it's gonna say you need to restart the computer to complete this action and actually not in not all cases you need to do that but you should and net sh uh, win soft reset again uh, it's gonna say it successfully reset the Windsor catalog but you must restart the computer in order to in order to complete the reset so after doing that especially the first three commands are the most useful but the second ones as well to do a much deep deeper reset let's say your game should run smoothly if not <laughs> then there are many many other solutions on reddit but they go more in depth depending on your system on your internet connection and many types these are some general fixes what i showed you in this video and uh, the last one is the best one resetting everything reconnecting it's gonna maybe disable your wi-fi for a couple seconds maybe not even that so you can do it while in match without any problems you won't get disconnected nothing will happen and um, that should really help and if you couple this everything i told you with a buffering of, of one tick over a packet loss or jitter i think your game will work without any problems you might need to use these commands every time you open the game which for now is a bit annoying but if that's what you're gonna do that's what you're gonna do um, until valve finds a definite fix for this but um, thank you guys for watching i hope you like the video and in my discord server i'll help you guys with more detailed uh, problem solving and um, with more more detailed answers if you need i'm gonna try to help most of you because uh, you know why not i have some time but um, as i said these are the general fixes and after you do these steps the game should work fine should work fine so um thank you guys for watching i hope you like the video you might have uh, more um, more ping on uh, sweden servers i don't know why it happens but it sometimes happens so yeah but in rest everything good see you later